Hey everybody, this is Allison Benham, and I am at a property today that Ken and I purchased a couple months ago, and I wanted to take a video for you to show you what we've been working on. So this place is a duplex here in Lafayette, and we purchased this with the goal of making this an executive or kind of a midterm rental. So as many of you know, we just had a baby a few months ago. We have family and friends that want to come in town uh, to visit the baby. And so our goal was to create a really cute and cozy space where friends and family can come visit. Maybe clients can use the space if they want to, uh, like if they're in town looking for properties or if they're in between homes. And the rest of the time we can rent this out for 30 days or more. So here in Lafayette, the rental rules and ordinances say that we can rent out a property for 30 days or more and make that kind of a midterm rental. So what we've been working on is we've been furnishing this place to really make it a home away from home. So we partnered with Debbie Miller with Main Street Staging and uh, she helped us really outfit this place with some really cozy and cute pieces that are durable and affordable. And what we really wanted to do is create a space that really is gonna be comfortable for people staying here for over a month and really equip it with anything and everything that these people might need while they're in town. So I'm gonna show you around the property, so I'm gonna turn you around. Okay, so here I am looking at the front door of the property. I'm gonna turn you around looking into the dining room and kitchen area. So as I mentioned, our kind of goal with this place was to equip it with literally everything that people might need if they're staying somewhere um, for over a month. And so this could be people new to the area, people looking for properties, uh, people just coming for a vacation with their friends and family, things like that. So this kitchen has anything and everything that people might need, you know, from muffin tins and baking pans to coffee makers and blenders, everything like that. Um, and that's really neat. So this property uh, backs to Greenleaf Wildlife Preserve. And that was one of the things that really attracted us to it when it first came on the market. So for those of you familiar with Lafayette, Colorado, uh, this is Greenleaf Wildlife Preserve and it connects to Wanaka Lake, uh, which is a really neat kind of local spot that has beautiful walking trails, tons of birds and wildlife to see. I've seen skunks over there, foxes, coyotes, uh, bald eagles, all sorts of things that you can see back there, which is really pretty cool. So we love this place because it backs onto open space, which we think is unique. Another reason that we really like this space is that it has kind of smaller living areas. So it has a smaller dining room and a smaller living room. So we wanted to make sure that we weren't furnishing a bunch of spaces that people weren't ultimately going to use. So here's the living room and this is a pullout couch. So Debbie was really careful to get a comfortable couch that also could pull out into a queen size bed. And then she did these kind of cute little blue chairs on the side. This is probably my favorite little spot in the whole place. This kind of like very Colorado-esque little nook here. This is a piece of artwork from uh, me and Ken's house from a local artist. And Debbie kind of used that to create this little nook. And this hutch has uh, cards and games and things in it. So if people are coming with groups they want to play games with, they have that here as well. Little fireplace. So the third reason that Ken and I really liked this property when it came on the market for this purpose is that it's newer. So all of the mechanical things like the furnace and the AC, the roof and all the appliances are going to be in better repair than getting an, an older property. So we'll go upstairs now into the primary bedroom. And the fourth reason that we really like this place is that it's pretty close to our house. So that when it gets turned over in between guests, it'll be really easy for us to pop over and facilitate that process. So we know that this bedroom, the primary bedroom is gonna be used every time that somebody rents the property. So we wanted to make sure that we got a really nice king size bed. So we did that and Debbie helped us pick out these kind of cute little furniture pieces. And this is a chair from our house. One thing that was really valuable to us in working with Debbie is she let us use some of our own furniture too. So we brought over some of our furniture and artwork and could kind of partner with her to pick some other pieces that would go with that so we could do this in the most economical fashion that we could. 
So now we're going into the primary bathroom. Debbie created this little cute makeup space for people who want to use that. Then there's a bathtub and a shower in here. And since we didn't have a dresser in the primary bedroom, Debbie got these little baskets so that people can use these to store things in the closet if they're coming for an extended amount of time and have, you know, a fair amount of clothes here. So we have extra hangers and this little hangy basket thing for people's sweaters and shoes and things like that. Okay. So now going downstairs, there are two more bedrooms and a bathroom. So this is a three bedroom house with three bathrooms. So we thought that that was a good size if people are coming with a group to check out the area or to spend some time here vacationing. So this is the second bedroom. This has a queen size bed. And again, we use some of the artwork from our own house and Debbie kind of created this cute little theme in here of birds because we're backing to the bird preserve back there. Uh, the other thing is that we wanted to make sure that we had a designated workspace. Since so many people are working from home now, we wanted to make sure that they have a spot for that if they wanted a spot where they can have a real desk and have a door that closes, which is really important to people now. So of course there is some in-unit laundry here and then another bathroom down here with a tub and a shower. And then this is the third bedroom. So this is a trundle bed. So there's another mattress that pulls out. So actually there can be a total of eight people that sleep here and some kind of cool Colorado-esque artwork. That's a dresser from our house too. So we liked that, that we could kind of use some of our own stuff. So I'll take you back upstairs now and show you my last kind of favorite spot in here, which is actually in the backyard. So we're going back upstairs, back out onto the little deck here. So one thing that was really important to us and to Debbie when we were talking about this space is making sure that people could use this outdoor space when they come because this is just a kind of unique part of the property. So Debbie got some cornhole, a cornhole set and some chairs back here so that people can really enjoy this spot. Okay, so walking back inside now. Uh, so next time we will fill you in on any lessons that we learn from doing a midterm rental. And if you want to know more about Debbie or have her stage a property for you or talk with her about furnishing a rental, you can check out her info by going to MainStreetStagers.com. Okay, signing off. Thanks for following along.